Well, my neighbor, often the you know water comes up probably about a foot from his, his door. So yeah, it's a concern. Right now at six, day one of hurricane season. Is your home at risk tonight? The one reason everyone watching right now should have a hurricane preparedness plan. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jamison Euler. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thanks for joining us. This interactive map here shows Florida, Louisiana, and Texas are the state's most vulnerable to hurricane storm surge. Yeah, just here in Florida, two million properties are at risk of winding up underwater because of storm surge. And then as I go in a little bit closer here, you find out that 700,000 homes are considered very high risk, meaning a Category 2 storm could leave them underwater. Right, and remember, in Hurricane Katrina, it was that storm surge that wiped out the coast. Look at these pictures. It was not the whipping wind or even the drenching rain. Katrina produced the highest recorded storm surge ever along the U.S. coast, bringing a surge of 24 to 28 feet along a 20-mile stretch of the Mississippi coastline. This map shows the risk a little closer to home. The red zones there are considered at extreme risk. The area stretches all the way up to Hernando County. And as ABC Action News reporter Carson Chambers shows us tonight, Tampa Bay is in the bullseye. Well, you know, storm surge is the number one killer during hurricanes. And just to give you some perspective, we're in town and country tonight. Just behind us, this is how far a storm surge could go during a Category 3 hurricane. 13 feet tall, more than a story of water, and it is never too late to be prepared. Angie Rivera can't afford flood insurance on her Port Tampa home. What I did was I dropped the insurance because... We live in the budget. But she and her husband, who's retired and disabled, have a solid plan to get out. I pack my stuff, my main stuff, and head out north to Orlando. <laughs> and hopefully it will follow me there. New storm surge maps just released by a private data company called CoreLogic show an increase in the overall number of homes at risk due to storm surge to just under a half million homes in Tampa Bay. That's an increase from last year. Also, Florida ranks as the top state with 2.7 million homes vulnerable. I know I'm in a yellow zone. Is that the flood zone? <laughs> I don't know. You can see the new map shows South Tampa, Snell Isle, parts of Pinellas, and coastal sections of Pasco at extreme risk. Port Tampa, where Darnell Jones lives, also a vulnerable area. I've only been in Florida for, I guess it's eight or nine years, and so I missed the last huge hurricane. The city of Tampa says the maps reinforce what they've always preached. Tampa Bay needs to be ready. Tampa Bay is considered number one uh, for vulnerability here in the United States. So that means a lot. That's very significant. And if you're wondering what zone you're in, it's very easy to find out. All you have to do is go online. Hillsborough and Pinellas have a website where you can put in your address and look it up. In Tampa, I'm Carson Chambers, ABC Action News.